Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining our Mother and Refuge of the End Times. We would like to share with you a message of St. Michael the Archangel to Sheliana. But first, let us begin with a prayer to the Holy Spirit, asking for wisdom, discernment, and guidance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Let us pray. God our Father, pour out the gifts of your Holy Spirit onto the world. You sent the Holy Spirit over your church to begin the teaching of the Gospel. Now let the Spirit continue to work in the world through the hearts of all who believe. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. On January 25th, 2022, Shaliana began, As the feathers of wings overshadow me, I hear St. Michael the Archangel say, People of God, now is the time to enter into prayerful communion with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Much prayer is needed for the nations of the world that will soon buckle under the pressure that is applied by alliances of tyranny that have risen up enforcing Satan's agenda. People of God, guard your hearts from these attacks behind the shield of faith. Is your armor complete? Put on the whole armor of God, wielding your spiritual weapons in prayerful hands. Signs in the heavens have greatly intensified as the nearness of the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ fast approaches. There will be a great silence in heaven. The heavens will grow dim with anticipation and time will stand still as moments of mercy are applied to repentant hearts. His final act of mercy. Prepare your provisions, trusting in our Lord and King for your needs. Solar flares intensify that will cause blackouts in various places. The earth will continue to shake and crack. Seismic activity intensifies. Volcanic eruptions will intensify in frequency. Humanity will suffer. The institution of the Eucharist of our Lord and King is being dismantled. People of God, do not let your faith falter. Hold fast to the traditions of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. A corrosion of darkness has corrupted religious leaders and has infiltrated the holy place, making way for the Antichrist, who will soon stand in the holy place, proclaiming to be God. Our counterfeit church rises coronating the Antichrist as king of a one-world religion. The beginning of sorrows has begun with the rise of the New World Order. People of God, stand courageous in our Lord, who has not given you a spirit of fear. Let not your faith falter in the one true King, Jesus Christ, whose triumphant victory is at hand. Acknowledge your guardian angels who will lead you to safety during these perilous times. Angelic legions surround you. I stand ready with multitudes of angels to defend you from the wickedness and snares of the devil whose days are few in number. Thus saith your watchful defender. Brothers and sisters, let us answer our Heavenly Mother's request to share Heaven's messages far and wide. Please share, like, subscribe, and click on the little bell so that you may be notified of the latest Heavenly Messages as they come in. And finally, Pope Francis has appealed for prayers. Please join us in praying for the Holy Father and for a deep conversion of leaders in every capacity, including in government, in the Church, in business and in the family, that they may seek the divine will in all things and have the conviction to fulfill it. Please click on our channel's 24-7 prayer room titled Rosary of the Seven Sorrows of Mary in Reparation to the Sacred Hearts. May God bless you and keep you.